Hey everyone, today I'm diving into a topic that sounds crazy but is super important. Microplastics in our brains and what we can do about it. Before we jump in, remember, get your info straight and make smart choices when buying products. I'll also share some real life tips to help you cut down on plastic exposure. Let's get started. What's the story with microplastics? Microplastics are those tiny bits that break off from plastic items all around us. Think of bits from bottles, bags, or even our clothes. Recent studies suggest that our brains might be collecting more of these particles than other organs, like the liver or kidneys. Some research even shows that our brains could have 7 to 30 times more microplastics than these other organs. It sounds wild, and while scientists are still figuring out exactly what that means for our health, it's definitely something to think about. How much plastic are we really carrying? You might have heard that the average person has about seven grams of plastic in their brain. Yeah, that's roughly the weight of a plastic spoon. Early research hints that this could be roughly true, but keep in mind, this is still an emerging field. The numbers are meant to show us the scale of the problem, not to scare us, but to motivate us to reduce plastic exposure. Can our bodies detox plastic? There's a lot of chatter online about deep sleep or fasting flushing out plastic from our bodies. Here's the lowdown. Deep sleep does activate the glymphatic system in our brains, which helps clear out waste. So getting quality sleep is great for overall brain health, but there's no solid proof it specifically removes microplastics. Fasting and the process of autophagy help clean up damaged cells, yet they don't magically eliminate plastic particles or forever chemicals like PFAS from your system. They're good for your health overall, but they're not a miracle cure for plastic buildup. What about natural detox remedies? You might also hear recommendations about eating sulfur-rich foods, taking NAC, N-acetylcysteine, or milk thistle supplements. Here's what's real. Foods like garlic, onions, and cruciferous veggies can support your liver's detox work by boosting antioxidants. NAC helps your body produce glutathione, an important antioxidant, and milk thistle supports liver health. These approaches can help your body deal with toxins better, but they're not going to wash out plastic particles on their own. Think of them as ways to keep your system running smoothly in the face of everyday exposure. Since we can't just flush plastic out of our bodies, the best plan is to prevent it from getting in. Here are some practical tips. Use glass or stainless steel water bottles instead of plastic. Try wooden or bamboo cutting boards instead of plastic ones. Those plastic boards can shed tiny bits of plastic into your food. Opt for fresh or frozen foods over canned ones since many cans have plastic linings that might leach chemicals. Avoid microwaving in plastic containers. Use ceramic or glass instead. The recycling reality. We often hear that recycling can solve our plastic problem. The truth is, only a small fraction of plastic ever gets recycled. Most of it ends up in landfills or the environment, breaking down into more microplastics. This means reducing our use of plastic is really our best bet for long-term change. To wrap up, while research on microplastics in our brains is still unfolding, there's a clear message. Limiting plastic exposure can only help our health in the long run. Prioritize good sleep, a balanced diet, and small lifestyle changes that reduce your daily plastic use. If you found this video useful, drop a comment with your thoughts or tips and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.